Jacksonville a one word home. So being born and raised in Jacksonville, uh, no matter where I go, it seems like I always end up back here. Going to JSU definitely made me and who I am today through a lot of coaches, a lot of uh, responsibility and accountability a you know, 19, 20 year old probably wouldn't have otherwise. Uh, having to go to class and uh, kind of being up to me and not somebody making me go, you know, it was uh, definitely a, a growing up experience. And, you know, I met a lot of people that are gonna be friends, you know, the rest of my life up here. So growing up in Jacksonville was great for me because my whole family's from here. You know, it was uh, one of those things where I could go to class and I could get out and go see my grandparents or, you know, uh, go see my family, see my sisters, nieces and nephews. So it was a great thing for me to be able to go to school in my hometown and still be that close to my family. Well, Jacksonville is really the only city I knew for a long time. And now that I've gotten to travel a lot, it seems like for some reason I always end up coming back here. These relationships I made when I was in college and, you know, like I said, with my family and this hometown is just, uh, it's, it's strong enough to keep me, maybe come, keep coming back. I, I, I don't know that I was the best football player there was, but getting to play at Jacksonville State and getting to be a Gamecock up here meant a lot to me because it's got this sense of pride. You know I mean? You can be a fan of any team you want, but being tied into a university like that is a sense of pride you have, and I'll always be a Gamecock. One of my football coaches at Jacksonville State, his name was Adam Ross when I was up here, and uh, my mom still can't believe we're friends because I couldn't stand him when he was my coach, but when I got done playing, you know, that relationship that we had, and he helped me through on music, helped book gigs for me, so I made a lot of relationships up here that have transferred into my music career. Favorite memory that we can talk about on camera. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite memory at Jacksonville State was probably my first J Day, uh, getting to play on uh, this field in Paulson Stadium, and uh, you know my parents getting to come and watch me. That was uh, a big goal of mine was to play college football and to be able to get on the field down here was a was a huge moment for me. Uh, to a current JSU student, any advice I could give would be to just. Enjoy it. You know, it's, uh, it seems like it takes forever to get through school when you're in high school and college, but it, it happens quicker than you think, you know, and you'll be out in the real world having to get a job. So, uh, new students, just, just enjoy it and enjoy your experience up here. I got into music, to be honest, through playing little bars in Jacksonville. You know, when I was in college and being in a college town, I had friends who would show up at Brothers and Pelham's and Heroes, which was a sports nut back then. And, uh, you know, having that little small town feel of people coming out to the shows and not necessarily booing me, I guess, gave me a sense of confidence to keep going with it. And, you know, it just spiraled into, you know, maybe a little bit of the Northeast and then the Southeast, and then it's just kind of still spreading today. So those little hole in the wall bars in town are really what got my start. I've got a lot of uh, new influences in music. I've gotten to write with some great writers. Red Atkins, who was a big country music artist in the 90s and a great songwriter, is uh, really helped me a lot in my writing. Randy Montana, some of these guys in Nashville I've met have really uh, helped make my songwriting what I hope it ends up being you know, good enough to get on the radio. Uh, Big Machine was uh, great from the very beginning. When they, they offered me, I was in Chicago playing at a bar and uh, you know they, they really treated me like I was one of them from the very start. They didn't try to change anything I was doing. They really just wanted to build on it. And uh, it was a tough decision picking what record label I was gonna sign with, but I ended up in the right spot. There's no doubt in my mind. Uh, other hobbies besides music, I'm a big outdoorsman. I like to hunt and fish. Anything outside, I'm a fan of. I've, uh, I tried to play golf, I'm not real great at that. But uh, anything outside, I'm a fan. I'll keep up with sports. You know, I'm uh, getting a little old for men's league softball now. I start to hurt myself when I play, but I enjoy anything being outside. So music is definitely my main passion. But you know, when I get a little break, which isn't much, I like to come to town and get outside and hang out with family. I don't get into Jacksonville as much as I used to, but uh, the Rocket and Cecil's, it's hard to keep me away from there. I gotta make my stop in town when I get here. Short-term goal that I have in my music career is definitely getting a song on the radio. I and mean, that's the whole point of signing a record deal is to have that you know, national audience where they can, they can put it out and people can hear it all over the country. Uh, more of a long-term goal with the music is to you know, be able to make a career out of it, not just be something that lasts for a few years, but to really keep writing songs, keep developing you know, my writing skills, and uh, you know, keep having music, keep being able to make a living playing music. Growing up in Jacksonville and getting to go to school in the same town that I grew up in and getting to play a little bit of ball here and, and get my education here was a blessing to me. And yeah, I had a little bit of an advantage because I'm from here and I had a lot of ties, but I mean, people that came from out of town, people that move in and come to Jacksonville, there's a lot that this small town has to offer and it's uh, really that tight-knit community sense in the university. It's something I don't think you can get anywhere else. Some of my best friends in the world are people that came from outside of Jacksonville and came here to go to school. People I keep in touch with and people when I'm in their town playing a gig, I call them or they call me and we get together. It's the relationships you make at this town 
will last the rest of your life. I, I'm excited about the opportunity to come back, you know, when I'm old and gray and watch a game in the stadium. You know, I, it's, I've always enjoyed Jacksonville and I grew up coming to this stadium. Jacksonville High School, where I went to school, didn't even have a football stadium, so we played our games here, you know. So I'm looking forward to being able to raise a family in this town and, you know, them come up here and experience some of the same things I did.